All right, you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, as you can see by the title, we're gonna crack back into the AAF, the Alliance of American Football. I apologize wholeheartedly that I couldn't get my week one reactions up until now. Uh, but, you know, this, being that there's only eight teams, being that there's only 10 weeks, I feel like I really can react to every single game of this uh, league. So I'm really excited to do that. This is week two. Week two's just, just finished. Highlight Heaven, once again, has put up the highlights. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm here. I've got a lot of shit going on in my life at the moment. It's pretty busy, but this is something I really do want to keep consistent. It's something I really am excited about. Um, and you know, recently I have been sort of searching for things to, to get me excited again about, about the game of American football. And I don't, know, I don't know what that's about, but you know, it seems this series, this, this league has, has come along just at the right time and it's definitely piqued my interest again. So, with that said, I, I did mention in the last video that my, my team that I have to back is uh, the, 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 who was it? The Atlanta Legends or Arizona, Le no it's Arizona, Ho Atlanta Legends with the purple, purple uniform. <laughs> Some, someone, someone, coo, who, uh, who was the place kicker, scored the first points of, uh, of the, the whole AAF and you know that's something to be proud of. He's in the record books now, he plays for the legends and um, you know what, I could be gunning for that kicking position next year. So, so Ku, my man, I know you've played in the NFL but you better watch yourself. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. Hey listen, it's about time we get into it. So just quickly I'm going to roll the intro, stick around guys, we're going to crack into game number one of four. I can't wait. Don't mind the mess. If you can see the boxes there, that is uh, well, it's 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 absolutely overwhelming. Uh, what what is behind me? Because you can probably only see about a third of it. But that is all of the major key physiques products. They're here. They're in my house. Um, I've just had the photo shoot done to take all the, the product pictures for the website and also a lot for the social media feed for uh, Instagram and Facebook so things are happening the photos I'm waiting to receive as soon as I get them they're going to my website builder the website will be done I will be sorting out all of this shit getting it you know all in its different sizes piles all different stuff to make it as easy as possible for me to pack the orders and um, as soon as I do that, I'm going to be starting a seven day countdown for the Major Key Physiques launch. So if you've ever been interested in Major Key Physiques, if you've ever wondered what MKP was, if you've ever wanted to support me and the channel and its growth financially, I made a video very early on in this, in this you know, reaction sort of series. Uh, back in July, I, I mentioned that I'm not going to ask anyone to, to join Patreon. I'm not going to ask anyone for a GoFundMe page. All I am going to ask and all I am going to plug like consistently is my brand, my major key physiques clothing brand. And so, you know, it's, it's been 12 months, 12 months of, of solid work. Uh, there's been so many setbacks, you know, it's cost me a lot of money. I've made mistakes, but mistakes I see as learning experiences. And so we're nearly here, literally within two weeks, major key physiques will be live and uh, we offer, well, I'll get into all that. Look, today we're, <laughs> we're here to react to the AAF. I wanted to put that little plug in there, so we've done it. Let's get the screen recorder going and get into it. Now, it wouldn't be a uh, it wouldn't be a reaction video without, well, usually a coffee, but today today we're going extreme. I've got the V, the big V, and I haven't had one for a while, so I'm thinking. Mmm, nice and tangy. I'm going to put it in a glass with some ice because it's humid as fuck here right now. I don't know if you can tell, but I am excited. I'm excited to I'm excited to watch this season, man. I'm excited. I'm excited at the at the possibilities. You know of I guess lesser players such as myself. Um, you know, having a chance, having a real shot at becoming a pro athlete. I suppose, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to beat around the bush, I'm not going to lie. That is a thought that goes through my mind a lot when I think about the AAF and what timing, 
You know, what timing, I keep coming back to that, what timing for me to freaking get into American football. We've got the XFL starting next year, we've got the AAF, we've had so many Australian players killing it. You know, it's just, it's just, I feel blessed. I feel blessed. So anyways guys, Salt Lake Stallions versus Birmingham Iron. Week two, and it looks as if they haven't put up the Legends game. I don't know if that's been played yet. I'm not going to look up the results because I made that mistake last time. So here we go, Salt Lake Stallions versus Birmingham Iron. I'm sorry, I've been rambling, but I won't be doing that in the next three videos, so stay tuned. Here we go. Part of this back right here. Well, he escapes, Perez on the move. Perez lets it fly toward the end zone. Oh! Perez, now I've heard a lot about Perez. Perez came from the D2, didn't he? And then, uh, I don't know if he played overseas or not, but he's, he's definitely got some hype around him at the moment. Perez with the uh, Perez with the attempted touchdown pass, but no. Oh, what happened there? And Birmingham will recover. Now, was it Birmingham who had what's that guy's name? Who's the the uh, the running back who? Got picked third overall in the 2013 draft. Richardson? Is it Richardson? I'm not sure. I'm going to look for number 33 because he he's going to be an exciting one to watch for sure. That is Elijah Campbell who comes Good D boys. First carry of the day for Matt Asiata. He had enough for the first down. Yeah, he got the first down and then lost it. Yeah! What's his name? Perez? <laughs> he was the star last week in the receiving core. Had four catches, 107 yards. Four catches for 107 yards? Serious? 16 yard pickup. Look at this pass. What I like about this pass is throwing conviction. Close. Or Close to getting tipped. Perez in the gun. Give it to him. Give it to what's his name? Time Jefferson. Quickly. Ball loose. Don't Martin. drop it. And it's Carter Schultz with his second sack. Guy has been told he's been undersized his entire career, and he's making a name for himself in this alliance. Right. Carter Schultz is finding a way again to get to the quarterback. He beat off the. Oh the my the God! That's that terrible defense. defense. That Birmingham fills in this league. Terrible. Um, sorry, offense. Terrible from the offensive line. That. With Come a nice on, man. Hat, hat in hand movement, getting around, swiping the hands, and going after the ball, coach. Oh, back to the five yard penalty. Good and day. And there is Oliver is stuck quickly. Second and 12. And three. What do we got? Third the... and three. Allen. Now a lot of time. Scampers. Allen across for the first down. Nice job there. You know, move the chains. That's what you want. Most efficient NFL quarterbacks move the sticks. Well, he had some guys open, but he kind of second guessed himself. When we saw, when we saw what happens here. Conviction, here you're going to see Allen look to the drive route. He's going to look to the running back in the backfield. He doesn't see anything. Luckily, the protection holds up. Six play of the drive. Jeez, that D was on him like that was a blitz and a half. He is across for another first down. That had disaster Lucky you got that off. Yeah, exactly. That did have disaster written all over it. Oh my. The amount of dropped punts I have seen so far in two weeks. What are these guys doing at practice? By Bray. A scrum for the football. Bray had it slip right through his hands. Henry Tolliver, I believe, recovered it. A muffed punt return. That's what you call it, isn't it? Muffed. He's looked up. He's looked up. He saw the people coming. He's thought about what he's going to do before he's done it. He's taken a slight look off the ball. He's obviously looked. He's looked away from the ball for a slight split second, and that's what happens. Coach, as a young catch the ball first. Then do something with it. If you're gonna get hit, you're gonna get hit, but at least catch that fucking ball. Turner in the NFL. That this is one of the See? toughest things to do because Well, he did keep his eye on the ball, but yeah, I don't know what happened there. The guys in front of you are gonna do your job. Because my job is to look up and catch the ball. But if you ever get hit, he 
seats and tell guys what you see. Great. And expect them to do the same. Wait, Second and seven. Here's Allen. And the screen oh. for Oliver. He's got a lot of room. Go, go, go. You got him. Oh. Oliver inside the five. Big Smash. for Salt Lake, 19 yards on the screen. Really, really Not a bad a nice run. Nice job of setting this screen up. Great patience. Nice job by Brandon Oliver. And you see the offensive lineman here pick up the man-to-man -man cover guy, Ryan Cummings, number 79, doing Good. a tremendous yeah. job of picking up and getting the block. I reckon he he probably could have and should have scored that. Get the screen going. Good out. Bonio finds a hole. Touchdown, Salt Lake. Joel Buonio with the first job, score of the game. The three-yard rushing oh, no. touchdown. You hear a great job on line because all Buonio had to do Three yard rushing start touchdown. Start to the left on his inside zone footwork and just wave back to the backside A gap because everyone's wiping everybody down here. Here we go. Buonio's gonna go like this, but all these guys are gonna take everything this way. He's just gonna cut back backside. Maurice, what you said, I heard you say wave. He kind of rode nice. the wave all the yeah. way back. That's what I always hear the offensive coaches talking about. You trying to tell me I couldn't do that? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Uh, is, is ride that wave and let it happen. It's called sweat surfing, I think. <laughs> that's, that's another great one. Wave! Go for two oh, two points. No. You expect me to get a similar type. Well, it didn't work that time, did it? You get a chance to. So the conversion fails. And the Broncos in the preseason, and he hammers it. Big kick. Enough, and it 53. Is a 53 yard bomb by Taylor Bertolet. And Salt Lake has. Good shit, Bertolet. It's 9 0 as we come to the oh, end birdie. of this first half. Let's have a look at this snap. Oh, well, that's beautiful. Look at that spiral. Good execution there. And a nice job by the snapper. For 11, Allen throwing the ball. He'll give nice it to him. Here we go, Spike. Here, yeah, saw that happen. First down and more for Joel Buonio. Beautiful. Down after down. Don't get frustrated here. Just keep playing. You see here now with the Salt Lake Sky, he's trying to spread him out a little bit and isolate. Little play action. The hell happened there? Finds his man. Keep going, keep going. He steps out of bounds. Unlucky. A 53 yarder to Bertolet. This is from 27. Oh shit. Go, 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 make something of it. Pass it! Rico, the puncher, oh, needs one. Tell me he scores. Oh, and an incomplete oh that would have been Salt great. Lake has a drive stall. <laughs> like the snap from Colton Shit. Taylor was low. And the Stallions come up empty. A gift to so the that, Iron of Birmingham. So that's the snap, isn't it? Snap's fault. They'll take over at their own nine when we come back. Decent effort. But... O-line and D-line. It showed up today. Give it to 33! Yes! Go, 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 go! That's what I'm talking about. Go, 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 go! Richardson! Not Jefferson, Richardson. How did I know he'd do something when he gets the ball? Just give it to him. Maurice, you can hear the crowd get into that with the Birmingham there. They got one of the local guys making a big play and a much needed big play at a crucial time. Only just got to him. As a running back, we always tell the quarterback, we are the best investment in football because you can throw the ball two yards and we can take it 60. And with the ball. And Perez, play action, turns and fires Good throw. his man. Wesley Saunders, the ball pops out, recovered by Salt Lake. The question is, was he dead? I'm almost expecting to see fumbles at this stage. Or not. Close one. I suppose it is just the highlights. Look, don't don't uh, don't don't come at me. All right, don't at me. But uh, yeah, I guess you know I'm not watching the full game, so. Trevor Riley recovers the fumble. I only see what highlight heaven want to show me. Brian, this is literally the opposite of what we saw. Perez has got to be disappointed with that. The last, the last week's game, Maurice, is the fact that Birmingham did such a great job of taking care of the football, moving the football. Bam! And today we see these costly turnovers that are making a huge difference in this football. Yeah, it's a have a better snap. Great opportunity to redeem himself right here. This will be a 50-yarder. Oh, off the post. The upright, no good. Hit it. Off the upright. Comes right back. Damn. Over two years with the Dolphins, he was traded to Baltimore. Let's see how far this goes. Plays, From the 35. It's oh, that Allen was terrible. Receiving. Oh! Quickly, the ball is loose. What? It was stripped by Saunders, and it's in the end zone. Who's got it? It is... That wasn't going to be a touchdown if he recovered it, was it? 
That's the call. Salmon ends up with the ball. I thought Summers had it initially. Touchdown, Birmingham. <laughs> Why the hell did that happen? I'm not. I'm not sure if it was. After review, the ruling on the field stands. He's on the play as a touchdown. Oh. Coming to the end of the third quarter. Guanyo again. He'll get it. Guanyo. Where are you going? How fast are you? How fast are you, How fast are you mate? Down to the Birmingham 30. Not fast enough. 24 yard pickup for Joel Bonio. Decent. Coach, no Decent edge, run. no chance here. Where's my edge defender we have right here? You have to set this edge. You can't let the running back bounce and get outside. We don't have that. Yeah, you see safety Max Redfield has to come across here, and he's not able to hold contain, and the ball is able to bounce outside. And that's, again, a great job by the offensive runner being very patient, letting everything happen and doing, knocking down the edge, and then now he ran into Go the sun. grass. Takes him over. That'd be such a nice feeling, man, bouncing to the outside and having some space. Man, that'd be a nice feeling. For 100 yards rushing, Guanyo with 108 and hit this 2 deep zone. Because literally, you're one on one with the defender. You have so many options in this game. You can hurdle, you can spin, you can juke, you can stop start, you can do a dead leg. What else can you do? You can't do a chip and chase, can you? Well, you could. Don't try to hit it down the middle of the field. You can see the little the double route by the inside guy, and sooner or later, he's going to take that shot. And there it is, and Patton. Luis Perez. Yeah, Perez. Look at the darts on him. Leans forward for the first down. Boy, that's a nice football play by Quentin Patton. Really shows his legs and energy. Oh, what's happening here? Push forward and the first down. The flags are up. As they jaw after the play. Yeah, Patton. Just got it off. Give it to him. Give him tight end. Nah. Richardson. What are you going to do? Stay on your feet. Helmet's gone. Just shy of the first down. <laughs> Where's his helmet? Yeah, we gotta finish this. Come on, give it to frickin' Richardson. Give it to Richardson. Ah, oh, yes. It is a touchdown. What's the call here? Richardson is across. Touchdown, Birmingham. The Iron has the lead. So Richardson's got four touchdowns now. How long we got left? We got a minute left. Does he score another one? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, you're, you're not doing okay. Guess what? Turn around and hand the ball off. It cures everything. Well, again, it's another fourth quarter drive. Great running here by and big plays by Trent Richardson in the fourth quarter. Shot tree. And I don't blame him for not spiking this one. That's an expensive football. Got him in trouble last week. The three huge conversion attempt here with 440 left. Give it to Richardson. Nah. Quick release, incomplete. Oh. 2.47 left. They're not going to come back, are they? Allen fires. Allen with the hit. He's got his big tight end, Anthony Denham. It's a first down. Cold and tired of the snap. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Get it. Oh. No. Long snapper. It's a good one. And they do kick it away. And, and that is a boomer. Magic here. Go, boy. Is expired. Pearson Go, son. Do a lateral or something. And, ah. it. and it's a win for Damn Birmingham. It. Improbable victory. Shot Birmingham. So Birmingham go 2-0. Two, two and o. Hang on. Birmingham go 2-0 and o, and the Stallions go 0-2 and two, or 0-2. Oh okay. Let's go back. The next game is going to be... The Arizona Hotshots versus the Memphis Express. And I can't wait. But if you have enjoyed this one, if you want to support me, you want to support the channel, you want to get this video out there to as many people as possible, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do, because there's plenty more content to come. I'm going to cover every single game in this league. If you're enjoying it, you enjoy it. If you don't, you don't. You know, some will hate me, some will like me. It's just the way it is with this YouTube game. I'm here for the long haul. I ain't going anywhere. So I welcome you to come along for the AAF inaugural season with me. Next game, Arizona Hot Shots vs Memphis Express. I will see you soon. Peace out.